let's talk disc golf. So, in disc golf, you need a putter. I have a few. A putter. Mid range. And a driver. The putter is used for approach shots. It's for those shorter typical throws when you're closer to the disc golf basket. Um, yeah, the, the, these is what you, this is what you use to get in the basket to um, make sure that you get in. It's not not recommended that you use a driver or a mid range for putting. Um, putting for me and for typical disc golfers would be within 30 feet. Um, yeah, uh, there's not much to putting. All besides that, you just have to be close. I'll show a couple clips of what that'll look like. And then next, our mid-range. This one is a thicker rim. It's, uh, since it's a thick, it does fly slower. That's kind of what you want out of a mid-range. A mid-range is what you use for a shorter shot. Let's say if, you, if you're not comfortable with putting from 50 feet away, you would go to a mid-range. You would throw from anywhere from 50 feet to 200 feet, depending on how, um, how strong you are, how well you can throw, and how far you can throw. Um, I like to have a few mid-ranges in my bag. I carry a titanium buzz and a Michael Johansson Comet. Uh, these are both made by Discraft. Um, I typically will throw a mid-range if it if the hole is anywhere in between 100 feet to 250, maybe. Um, typically, after 200, I would like to switch to a driver. A driver is a thinner rim. It is something that is uh, faster than all the other discs, uh, obviously, because it's a driver. Um, it's something that you use when you really need that power, when you really need to get far on a hole. You, uh, you see the basket, you see that it's far away, you're like, uh-uh, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not using a mid-range, I can't throw that far. So you, you're going to want to go to a uh, driver. Drivers are typically what everybody, everybody carries as disc golfers. Everybody has a driver, everybody needs a driver. Um, yeah, this is, this is what you use for those long shots. I'm going to show you a couple of different throwing styles and... Uh, yeah, let's get to it. So, our typical backhand movement, it's a behind, just pulling through, kind of like a frisbee. Um, the backhand is used, if you're right-handed backhand, you'll throw it and it'll fly from right to left. Now the forehand. If you're right-handed, you typically throw from left to right when you're throwing a forehand. Uh, a couple grips is um, you can have two fingers under or one finger under. There's there's a bunch of different ones, but I typically use two. Um, yeah, uh, you just you start from here and you reach back and you just pull right through your body. 